going to check if email already exists. Check if email already exists. So here is where we're going to create our first proper MySQL query. Before we do that though, we need to first create a table that's going to hold our users. So go to localhost slash php myadmin and then go down to your database. Mine was called social. And we can actually delete this test table. So we can click on test. We can go operations. And then we can go down to delete the table drop right here. We don't need that table anymore. Okay, so at the moment our database doesn't have any tables in it. So we can create a new table. This one's going to be called users. Okay, leave it at four for now. We can add or remove columns as we need them. So here we go, our users table. The first column is going to be called ID. The type is going to be integer. And we're also going to scroll sideways across to AI right here. Check that box, which means auto increment, meaning that whenever a new entry is added to that table, the value, the number in the ID column will increase. For example, the first data inside it will have one for the ID column. The next one will auto increment to two and three and four and whatever number it needs to for the data that's in there. We can also say under index primary, this means primary key. For now, this might not make sense to you if you've never used MySQL before, but just go with it. You don't need to worry about that for now. Next, we're going to put first name, and this is going to be of type varchar, which is like text and just strings of words. And we're going to put 25 values in there. Because I think a limit of 25 values for a first name is reasonable. Now, last name, same again, Varchar25. Username is going to be Varchar. And, and let's just put 100 in there for now. We can come back to that when we figure out how we're going to implement the username. But now we're going to add a few more columns. So let's just add four for now at the top. Add four columns. And we're going to put email. This is going to be type varchar as well. And give it 100. Password. It's also going to be varchar. Give this 255, which is the maximum amount of values it will allow. Because we're going to encrypt the passwords and we don't know how long the passwords are going to be after they've been encrypted. So to be safe, we'll just put 255 in there. We try and predict these values as accurately as we can, just to try and reduce space wherever we can. So now we're going to put sign up underscore date. And this is going to be type date. We're also going to have one called profile pick. This is going to be varchar. And just put 255 for now. And we're going to go and add four more columns. I know it's a lot, but we need this much. We're going to put num underscore posts, which is going to hold the number of posts they've done, just as a nice little statistic they can see. We're also going to put num underscore likes, which is going to be the number of likes the person's received. Again, a nice little statistic they might be interested in. We're also going to put user underscore closed, which will be a yes or no whether the users close their account or not. This will be varchar, but this is going to be of length three because, as I said, it's either going to have the values yes or no in there. Yes, of course, having three letters, we could put the maximum length of values to three. And then finally, we're going to have friend array. And this could be a really long amount of data, so we don't want to put a limit on this, so we just set the type to text. And there we go. Let's click save and our user table has been created.